In this video, we're talking about my five favorite things about Silverdale, Washington. We're gonna get that going right now. What's up everybody, it's Cassandra Lopez with the Living in Bremerton channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure and subscribe. This channel is all about living in Bremerton and Silverdale. So whether you've uh, been here before, whether you're moving here for the first time, be sure and hit subscribe and tap that little bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. And you can contact me directly. This is my cell phone and my email. Please feel free to reach out. Let me know how I can support your relocation in Bremerton. So five favorite things about living in Silverdale. So we were actually at one of the five in no particular order. We're at the Old Town Waterfront in Old Town Silverdale. So this is a cool spot. This right here is Dive's Inlet. Um, what you can do down here, there's a kid's play area, there's a gazebo, there's a covered um, patio area where you can barbecue and reserve birthday parties. You can get your canoe in the water, your paddle board. They have full pier down here for motorboats and they also have um, rowing and sailboat lessons out here. So it's a pretty cool um, fun jam. Over here to the left, this is Tracyton, all the way down there. So Tracyton is actually part of Bremerton. And then over here to the right, we have Chico all the way down that way. So Chico is also a part of Bremerton. So right now we're pretty much at the southernmost point of Silverdale. So as the name would suggest, Old Town Silverdale is the oldest part of Silverdale, founded in late 1800. So all the buildings and businesses down here used to be residences. So they're all homes that have been converted to restaurants or salons or attorney offices or any other business that you have down here. So also in Old Town, we're actually at just on the other side of the park where we started. This is the beginning of the Clear Creek Trail. So Clear Creek Trail is number two on my list and it's a pretty cool trail because it's an urban trail that runs all the way through Silverdale, kind of meandering through town. It splits off and there's a couple of different branches and stuff. And it actually goes all the way up to um, the Trigger Ab off-ramp and off of the Highway 3. So that's like two to three miles north of here. So this is where it starts. And then once you get like through town and you start crossing streets and stuff, there'll be like the little brown signs that keep you on the trail so you kind of know where you're going. But it's really lovely because it goes all along Clear Creek, which starts over here in the mouth of Dyes Inlet. It goes all the way up to the north end of Silverdale. There's a dog park there, there's a skate park there, and on through the wetlands of the Clear Creek um, preserve area, and then all the way up to the Trigger Avenue. So number three on my list is Skiras. So Skiras is Italian food, pasta, pizza. They also have sandwiches and salads, Italian soda, called the yummy. I'm here like once a week. This is my favorite place to eat in Florida. So family owned, a couple that owns it are really lovely people. Zeph and Steph Wheat, and um, they employ a lot of like high school age kids. So it's a great place for young kids to come. They also have a patio over here for outdoor dining, which is really great because you have this wonderful view of Dive Inlet over here. So, um, when, you're, when they're open, you can just kind of come let yourself in. There's a little patio gate over here. Enjoy the view, enjoy the meal, and it's great. Some of the favorite things on the menu that I like to enjoy, the ham chop chop, chicken pesto sub, and you really can't go wrong with the good list menu. So number four on our list is Fueler's Cafe. So Fueler's is really great because they offer some dietary alternative options. So they have all the vegan, gluten-free, keto-friendly stuff. Um, paleo stuff and it's all annotated on their menu and their menu is fantastic. They have full breakfast, full lunch, they have cookies and brownies and muffins and all these things that are really delightful and their coffee is amazing. They have a little dining area, um, or you have a little pickup window on the side over here if you want to get it to go. This is a great place to come and bring your kiddos or have business meetings or whatever or you can just walk some of their yep and get this. So number five on my favorite things about Silverdale is actually the amenities and the location. So I'm actually in the mall parking lot of Kitsap Mall. Got some cool anchor stores, stuff you would see, you know, a lot of other places like Barnes & Noble and Wool Market and stuff. Um, but there's a lot of smaller shops and that's kind of Silverdale in general. It's a good mix of like the big box brands and then the smaller mom and pop. So if you like the Targets and the Costco's, and the Best Buys, that's all here too. Um, the location within the county is actually really amazing. So it's the central hub for freeway access. Um, we're 10 minutes to Holdwell proper to the north, 10 minutes to Bremerton proper to the south. 
and um, just really good access to Olympic Peninsula if you like to go camping, hiking, fishing, all that stuff called on the Olympic Peninsula. So a lot of cool stuff going on here, a lot of great places to eat and see and movies and things. So definitely something to do for every night of the week. So that's what I love about Silver. Bonus Club, I'm about to go shopping at Trader Joe's because it's my favorite place to get groceries. I'm starving. It's dinner time. We're going to get seafood for dinner. So in we go. If you guys like that video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Tap that little bell so you're notified every time we drop a new one. Hopefully, I'll be hearing from you soon. We can put together a strategy session for your relocation to Bremerton, Washington. Bye for now.